Hi, welcome to another social viral to go video. In case you don't know or have never heard of OneCoin before, it is a cryptocurrency based in Bulgaria, which was founded by Dr. Ruja Ignatova back in 2014. Dr. Ruja is a charismatic speaker who won crowds over during various event speeches, making convincing claims that OneCoin would be the Bitcoin killer, which ensures investors that they cannot be affected by inflation and are impossible to counterfeit, thus eventually earns them a fortune like no other. Let's give a warm applause for our creator, our founder, our lovely Dr. Ruja, my sister these days. One, two, three. Applause, please. Thanks to her good education, respect from business peers in the industry, and adoration from followers, Dr. Ruja managed to persuade worldwide investors to part with literally billions of dollars. But as always, I want us to remember what this network is about. This network was created to become and to fuel the growth of OneCoin which I strongly believe will be the number one cryptocurrency worldwide. At the height of OneCoin's success, Dr. Ruja Ignatova disappeared after not turning up for an event in 2017. However, a secretly recorded conversation between Dr. Ruja Ignatova and Gilbert Armenta, her boyfriend, underscores links between OneCoin and organized crime. In this conversation, Dr. Ruja seems to be upset by the situation about Armenta's reluctance to leave his wife. No, otherwise I had an amazing day. I had again my fuckers coming and informing me what's going on. I love the tape that you and your wife where you tell you that you're not marrying me. I love this one. I'll keep it like whenever I want, I'll listen to it again. You know, this is the shit that I'm getting every day and I think, what the fuck am I having? Who is this person on the other side? So this is actually the funny thing. Normally I said to them, I don't want to listen to shit like this anymore, but this one actually it was good to hear gilbert what the fuck is wrong with you like really you i never thought that you like a spineless asshole are you well the the big issue right now is no 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 need no need i don't want to hear it because it's actually very clear i was like it's just like shit like everywhere just dirt it's disgusting actually so um yeah i think you know what i think so let's do Paris somehow with grace and then do whatever needs to be done. There's no need for you to be in a situation like this, dear. Like, you obviously are not, you know, like, there's no point for you, for me, for anyone, or for her. Like, poor woman. Like, poor me. Like, I don't want people to lie to me. I throw up. Do you understand? I throw up my dinner. I don't want this anymore. I know people are assholes, I know people can be weak, I know people can do a lot of things to get what they want or whatever, but I don't deserve this and she does not deserve this and whatever you think you are and that you're smarter than anyone, it's not. You, you understand? It's just not. It's not cool. There's one thing that's called personal integrity. Google it. It might be good. I don't want her to be with a person who has no personal integrity and who is just like saying bad things behind my back. You understand? I'm sure you do. So good night to you. While that call is certainly notable for the spectacle, it shatters Ruja's carefully crafted lofty public persona. Of far more interest is another secretly recorded phone call between Ruja and Armenta. This call was recorded by Armenta, who at this stage is an informant working with the FBI. Gilbert, we can get access to your emails within 24 hours if we want to. You cannot prevent this shit. You have to be fucking careful. What these Russian guys can do, you cannot imagine. And if they can do it, everybody can do it. Yeah. The only advice that you get from me, do not use emails. Do not, like, just face-to-face -face or encrypted phones. Nothing else is safe. Just believe me. Please. Like, okay. I can get everything I want within 24 hours. And if I can, they can too. I'm really worried you have to be careful with communication. Everybody has to be careful with communication, like extremely. While the call lacks any wider context, it appears to be related to security. The call seems to suggest the closest confirmation of OneCoin's ties to organized crime yet, specifically the Russian mafia. What Dr. Ruja can get in this conversation isn't clarified, but the tone suggests she sees herself as having the same reach and resources as Russian organized crime. This ties into Konstantin, Dr. Ruja's brother, testifying that she once told him she knew a rich and powerful person in Russia. Dr. Ruja would eventually learn of Armenta's betrayal via wiretap of his U.S. residence. 
she is believed to have traveled to Greece shortly thereafter before disappearing altogether. And there you have it, my name is Bob, and thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to our new channel.